<laughs> oh, careful, don't hurt yourself. Oh, he is always full of energy. <laughs> to him in just a bit, but we've got to talk and give props to a few people before the cage bird sings. Yes, yeah, so I think cage tiger. He said it was, he was a cage tiger pacing back there. <laughs> uh, we've got a... Uh, crowds are dispersing. I think they're trying to, um, a lot of them... It looks like to... they're running. Well, yeah, we might have a situation here we're trying to keep an eye on. Yeah, so we'll keep an eye on what's happening out in the crowd here at the station. We'll be sure to let you know the crowds are dispersing rather quickly. And it looks a little different than in normal years. Yeah, we got a lot of people running along. Some people in the crowd are telling us to get down. Mm. Yeah, they're moving everybody. Into the I need you to go. I need you to go. I understand. Active shooter events where they actually will target a crowd. Right now, no indication that that is the case, but they have two people that are in custody. They say that multiple people were, quote, struck. Uh, and then you can only imagine in an event like this where you have people who are fleeing in this chaotic situation, the number of potential additional injuries there as people are trying to uh, get away from the sound of gunfire. So a lot for authorities uh, to handle there on the ground. We see on some of our imagery here just this massive police presence that was already on site due to. Uh, Chief Stacy Graves, Kansas City, Missouri Police Department. At the conclusion of the Chief's rally today, there were shots fired on the west side of Union Station. Immediately, officers responded to the area, took two people into custody, and also immediately rendered life-sustaining aid to those victims. We're still gathering information on the number and the status of victims. But like I said, we know that one of the victims is deceased. We also know that officers ran towards danger. Officers were there to keep everyone safe. I'm angry at what happened today. The people who came to this celebration should expect a safe environment. We had over 800 law enforcement officers. Can't Yo, 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 it's Big Ant, the spokesman, man. We back, another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in, and first and foremost, I want to say condolences, prayers, and uplifting spirits to the entire families, friends, close, anybody that knew that person and went through it today with the person that lost their life out there in Kansas City after this shooting. I did see a video online on Twitter of somebody getting revived and everything like that. But for that person there, most definitely, because they lost somebody that they loved, cared about, knew, 
They left the house today thinking everything was going to be cool. And you can never predict that something like this right here is going to happen. And also, the other people, and I don't have a confirmed number yet, more information is steady coming in. They saying 10 to 15 injured. I saw somewhere that it was three in critical condition. I did see somebody speak to the news also and say somebody that was with them had their leg broken after being trampled over. It's all type of little things going on. Everything ain't all the way confirmed yet. But as y'all saw right there, most definitely got tragic out there. And I had a link in the description for different news sites that I use. And y'all can see that right there and everything. And I'm going to get into a little bit of a write-up to kind of go over some stuff that was confirmed and stuff. But this right here, bro, crash dummy move. Ain't no other way around it. I don't know exactly what it is. Saw one dude get chased down right there, tackled. Seen two dudes outside of the truck. Now, this could be any type of shooting as far as right now. They saying that they don't think it's one of them ones where they just was attacking the crowd. It's more so of an isolated incident. Dudes started shooting at each other from the looks of it. I'm not gonna try to solve the case or the crime, but the way they looking handcuffed out there, the guy that they sat down, I'm not gonna say that they guilty. It looked like it might've been a confrontation or something else. I don't wanna speculate, bro, but I hope that people know better than just go somewhere and we gonna get into it. And we shoot at each other and we hitting innocent people out here, bro. These people kids, people loved ones, people family members, dog. And you gonna get hit with the book. And guess what? You most definitely put yourself in a situation when you got no way out because they gonna have plenty of cameras. They gonna be able to pull up everything, anything. And they gonna have a lot of eyewitnesses and you're going to be one of the main enemies right now of Kansas City public because they're going to look at you as like, hey, y'all took a day from us that was meant for family, kids, loved ones, and things like that and turned it into, to, into something completely different. Now, if you was a person that was defending yourself, that's a different story. But if you initiated something and it just turned up, and I just tell niggas, bro, I don't know what y'all going through with problems, beefs, issues, drama, argument, bro, Niggas got to understand some, bro, if your life ain't in danger, bro, it's okay to walk away. And don't make somebody feel like, hey, nigga, you can't walk away. Because I'm going to tell you like this, nigga, walking away and living to fight another day, bro, is most definitely something that's more important for your family, your loved ones, your kids, the people that care and love you also. But now you done made them go through something, but now you done made these people, family and stuff, go through something. And that's just a bad look. And I guarantee you, years down the line, you're going to wish that things like this could be avoided if you were the one that tripped out and caused the issue. We shall see, man. It's going to be a sticky situation, most definitely. The little write-up piece says this. The parade celebrated Kansas City Chiefs dynasty cemented Super Bowl win ended in gunfire and tragedy with officials reporting that multiple people were struck there's the site of the rally that followed the parade and that the one person and one person died. Police said they took two armed people into custody and local television live streams show parade goers running from the rally site and police entering buildings. Like I said, more info is coming out. It's an anti-crash out platform, bro. This ain't what niggas supposed to be doing. 2024 has been a wild year already, bro. 45 days in, man. What y'all think? We got more coming, more videos, all that. One thousand for shit show. Stay on your pivot.